What's up everyone? Welcome to my channel. In this video, you will learn what is the relation between slip angle and steering angle. So without spending much time, let's start now. For derivation, I'm using bicycle model. Basically, in bicycle model, left and right wheels are collapsed and converted into single wheel in front and rear. Note that the stiffness of these wheels are also doubled while collapsing them into single wheel for calculation. Now here this is rear wheel and this is front. The front wheel is rotated by the small steering angle delta. The front slip angle of the tire is alpha f and the rear slip angle of tire is alpha r. Lateral force acting on the front wheel is f y f and on the rear wheel is f y r. This point is the CG of vehicle. It is acted by the forward velocity u and as the vehicle is turning, we are having the lateral velocity v. The vehicle slip angle is beta. As the vehicle is turning, the turning radius is given by r. Due to cornering, the car is having a yaw angular velocity or the yaw rate omega at the CG. Distance of the front tire center to the CG is a and from the rear tire center is b. Let the center points be a and b for the front and rear tire respectively. From the figure we can write tan beta equals to v by u. As beta is very small, we can write beta is approximately equals to v by u. This is our equation 1. Now, if you want to write the velocity at point B, then in upward direction, we are having B into omega due to your rate omega of vehicle and in downward direction, we are having the lateral velocity V of vehicle. In forward direction, the point B is moving with the velocity U, that is the forward velocity of vehicle. So we can write tan alpha r equals to B into omega minus V whole divided by U and as alpha r is very small, so we can write alpha r equals to B into omega divided by U minus V by U. This is our equation 2. Now at the CG we can write u equals to r into omega. This is our equation 3. Now on putting equation 3 and 1 in equation number 2, we get alpha r equals to beta minus b by r. This is the simple iteration. Now at point A we can write the velocity a into omega due to your rate in downward direction and lateral velocity v which is also in downward direction. In forward direction, we are having the velocity u, which is the forward velocity of vehicle. Considering small steering angle delta and small front slip angle alpha f, we can write delta minus alpha f equals to v plus a into omega whole divided by u. From equation 3 and 1, we get alpha f equals to delta minus a by r minus beta. This is our equation 5. Now from equation 4 and 5, we get delta equals to alpha f minus alpha r plus l by r. So this is the relation between the slip angle and the steering angle delta where L equals to A plus B. So this much for this video. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you have any queries regarding the video or about vehicle dynamics, you can comment in the comment box. Also share the video with your friends and colleagues if you find the video useful. Also subscribe to my channel, hit the bell icon to get the latest updates. If you want to check my blogs on vehicle dynamics, automobiles and softwares, you can check on my website, the link is in the description box. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring.